Welcome to phase three. Now, between phase two's video and phase three's video, I took the time to start really thinking about this brand that's been generated here, the print, print an A, and not, okay, I still don't quite know how to pronounce it. So, what I did is I went back and looked at the given name. How would you pronounce it as a given name? And it's roughly pronounced Onye, Onye, Print Onye, Print Onye. Well, Print Onye, or Print Onye, sounds like an opportunity to break out the temporary tattoos. So, starting to think now, going from generated a brand and to generated. Let's go start thinking, well, what's this thing do? What's this brand do? What's this product? So if it's a print, Anya pronounced as print Anya. So let's think about this in terms of product. Product could be, okay, we'll take temporary tattoo. Now this is a, a summer wealth, sovereignty, crops, animals, agriculture, love, fertility. Good. Now this is basically the uh, minister for everything you know, of Irish gods. But if we go and take this as So, brightness, glow, joy, radiance, splendor, glory, fame, summer wealth, sovereignty. Okay, let's take summer wealth and sovereignty. In fact, let's just focus that down to summer and wealth. Let's look at the summertime. Given this is, now we have the Written there of luck. And we're in the uh, Anglo Irish division, so what do we got? Because there are always Celtic symbols. Again, this is now what we're doing here is we're fast generating a brand from the brand, a product idea. So they are a symbol for luck. Okay, genuinely, I'm going to not, I'm going to try not to be embarrassed, but I didn't want to go with Shamrock. It felt tacky to take a red mare of Shamrocks. But, again, search tool, usage right. Let's look at reuse with modification. Pixabay is coming back up again. Um, I have a personal aversion to Triskelions, so I don't really want to use a Trisk. Shamrocks. Type, well, we want to make this into a, uh, a temporary tattoo, so we want to look for something. Got a couple of Celtic knots, variations on the Celtic knots. So, knowing that there are variations on a Celtic knot here, we're basically looking at what's a fast generation Celtic knot generator online, real online Celtic. So, what do we know about the Celtic knots? Is that they, they are sort of luck aspect to them. Find my fixer. I just lost everything. I just loaded there. Three point knots. Four point knots. Possibly four point knots. That's just yeah, probably a lot more than we want to be using. So we can close some of the windows now. Start tracking. We've got the red mare. We've got the logo, which whilst we're going past here, we save that. Keep that to hand. Now, 
in background preparation, I also want to start thinking about what the brand could do. I started saying, well, okay, how do I make this brand happen? Started Googling some of the stuff in the background and looking at, okay, what are we going, how could we do this? So print on demand, temporary tattoos, design or not. So we can play with this one for a little bit and I'll take that up. Uh, line basically to see if I can't practice this nice three pointer that over there and that over there So we can basically, there'll be a bit of working on that one to, well now. Narrow that back a bit. Okay. Gives an image we can go play with a bit later, but basically there is an opportunity for us to stroke for a square. So very quickly could create ourselves a couple of uh, products to go with and say okay we'll take that that's the image we want save that so we've now got a product we've got you know I'm just generating a color not randomly at this point we would be able to then go and decide all right we're going to use that we're going to create stuff so Rapid fire product creation is also an important thing that now we're going, okay, it's pronounced Prinonye. We're taking it as a summer wealth, temporary tattoos for wealth, temporary tattoos for good time. We're going to use some of the Celtic imagery. We're going to generate some Celtic knots to say that this is, you know, the summertime uh, logo of happiness. That's the brand, that's the product. All right, because there's no need to, we, well, we don't have to guarantee or promise anything there. So we've now got the product and we're looking at this guy, okay, temporary tattoos, print. Let's see if we've got a print on demand. Alibaba. So basically, we could do a whole series of, uh, you know, we can create these things, we can buy up the stock, we can go offline, build the image. So fast tracking now, going, okay, we've built an idea, we know roughly what we want to do, let's start describing it. Again, I'm improvising much of this. So, here's the plan. Now, knowing that this is what we want to do, we're going to want to start looking at what else can we build up around this brand. And that's going to require a little bit of searching, thinking. So, 
inside Instagram, let's search temporary tattoo. Who else is in the game? Who else is in the area? No one's working that. How about this? Nope. Competition is less. Tattoos of Instagram, that's not really temporary tattoo. But they'll give us a start. I think kind of ironically is that um, one of the very first brands that when we we're doing this test run came up as ink and now we've ended up being accidentally a tattoo. So the other thing we want to do is we want to search Instagram. Webs to me. Remembering that hash hashtags are all one word. Temporary tattoo. And the ad blocker is going to be needed on this thing because it's going to be irritating when it keeps doing that. Who else is in the business doing temporary tattoos? All right, let's have a look. We search for temporary tattoo. What's the hashtags? Where are the other hashtags that could be of use here? So there are basically a whole series of fellow accounts you can now follow. We can we'll set up in a moment to start following these other accounts and tracking down the accounts that provide similar. So basically, we have a set of options, we have a set of um, opportunities of building up the community around our accounts. Because now we've built the brand, now we know what the brand's doing, now we know what the product is. It's time to go build another couple of functions. So the next step, having worked this out, we're going to go build a couple of other supporting structures. So in the offline between, I'm going to go generate a couple of uh, elements that we can go work with and we'll take it from there.